Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University and today in this video we're going to take a look at how to set up and manage an assignment using the Moodle Learning Management System. So in order to create an assignment you have to turn editing on in your course you'll find that button up in the top right corner of your screen. So I'm just going to turn editing on. And I'm going to come down to the bottom of the module in my course where I want to actually add the assignment. You'll see an add activity or resource link here. Click on that, select assignment. And then you just add in your assignment parameters here. So I'm going to call this one assignment four because I already have three assignments listed in this sample course. And I'll call this podcasting. I'll use an assignment that I have in one of my undergrad courses as an example here. Now I have a block, a text editor block, where I can add in my description for the assignment. You can add in whatever you want here. I do actually have uh, a description that I can add in for this. So I'm going to come to the course where I have my assignment file and this is going to be assignment two is uh, from that course is my example the podcasting assignment and I'm going to take all of my instructions from here and paste them into the editing block now I don't like the size of this heading one's a bit too big I can modify that as I see fit I'm just going to go with heading level four here just so it's not overwhelming on your students eyes I'll use heading level five for this subheading and if you see your text doing this on you that simply means that you don't have a proper hard return added in there so I will backspace a couple of times put in a hard return There you go. So now all of my instructions are here for my students. I want to also add an, uh, a rubric for my students here. To add a rubric for my students, I have a PDF version of that rubric already created for them. So I have my PDF here to share with my students. And I will drag and drop that PDF into the attachment block. So now there is a rubric here for my students. I'm going to add a little note here for them. Please see attached description and rubric. Format my text again. And now I want to configure my submission parameters. So the next thing that I want to do is to configure my assignment submission parameters. I normally like to turn off the allow submissions from and the remind me to grade by and I will simply set the due date. So in this case, I'm going to set a due date for the end of the month, 31st of May. I will always choose end of the day. So I'll scroll down to 23 hours and 55 minutes so that it is at the end of the day. I want to configure my assignment submission types. You can just have online text or file submissions. I like to select file submissions. You can configure the maximum number of uploaded files. Uh, so you could set that to one, two, however many. You can change your file upload size. I'm going to leave this as the, uh, the maximum of 50 megabytes. You can configure your assignment uh, acceptance types. All that would be done here. Now, actually, in this case, I'm not going to take a file submission from my students, and I'll show you why for that in a moment. I can now configure my feedback types. I like to add feedback files. I will upload a rubric for my students, and I will also allow the block for feedback comments. I need to configure the grade, so it will have a point value, and in this case, I will give it 15 points because this assignment is worth, if I look at the assignment description, 15%. Simple direct grading, uncategorized. You can establish a grade to pass if you want. So I will say 7.5. You don't need to put that in. 
And the last thing I'm going to configure is my activity completion. Do I want my students to be able to check this off on their own login screen for Moodle or not? I'm going to click no for this. I would leave that as manually mark activity as completed if I want this as part of a checklist for them. And that is just about it. I simply hit save and display to view what this will look like. So this is what students will see when you submit the when they submit their assignments. They'll come into the course. They will find the assignment listed down here under the assignments. They click on it. They will see the instructions. They can download the rubric and there is a submission button for them. I'm seeing view all submissions in grade because I'm logged in as an instructor. Students here will see an option to upload a submission. They would come back to this same link off their homepage. Once you have given them a grade, they'll get a notification. They can come back to this same link and then they can view the feedback that you have provided for them.